Hello and welcome back to Lost Company. Welcome back to the Road of the Monastery. And I am still Negroth here with... Fataku. Fataku. And we are now taking care of some zombies in this freshly laid cemetery of the damned. And uh, back to using my favorite machine gun here, the M18-1. And I'm noticing we're getting harassed pretty consistently by these assholes across the bridge. Yeah, there there are quite a few uh, jerks across the bridge with their own little M18s shooting me. And sadly, I uh, I ended up dropping the sniper rifle back on the uh, the f the first part of the level. So now and I'm having to, to kind of that? um Obama. Mm. Obama. Let but no, I uh, I'm actually having to improvise here using some you know, of my magical force powers to send some lightning bolts across the, the bridge there. Hopefully taking care of uh, any, any, no, any enemies that are standing in my way. Yeah, I, I, I think they're dead. I guess I'm I somehow managed to kill them all. Yeah, it's, it's, it's dead quiet over here, so that's good. I, I actually ended up dying quite a few times in previous recordings to those guys. How did our American friend beat us here? I... I don't know. I guess he really didn't want to help us anymore. And I thought there were some secrets over in that building, but just uh, an abandoned building. Get inside the main chapel and try to unlock the side door to the monastery. Walker had locked it with a key, but some butcher-like fat bastard cut him in half with a meat cleaver. And God knows where he is now. So watch your back. I'll stay here and cover you from all the freaks coming this way. And don't mess around with the sisters if you meet any. They're faster than the rotten bastards we've seen so far. And we have and the not much automatic door on the front of the monastery opening for us. Yeah, they, uh, they were really technologically advanced for their time. Well, you stepped on the little rubber mat, so... Yeah. Wanna play doctors and nurses? Be a good boy now, and come to me! Eloquent for zombies. The same behavior, but their flesh doesn't seem to be rotting. We must be getting closer to the source yeah, of the disease. Yeah, eloquent and sexy. Oh my god, what the hell is this thing? They pulled a bait and switch on us, man. They're like, ooh, sexy nurse time. Psych! That bald guy with a meat cleaver. Oh, Butcher yeah. Knife, meat cleaver, whatever. So, yeah, we are, uh... We introduced to two more new enemies here. One of them is the nurse, which is more or less just a palette swap of the barbed wire zombies here. They are basically very fast moving, a little bit tougher than your normal zombie, but otherwise pretty uh, pretty ineffectual. Uh, the real problem here is uh, Humpty Dumpty, who uh, he takes quite a bit of damage, and it's not actually too uh, too uh, clear how you're actually supposed to deal with him. He's it's kind like of you a keep taking him down, and he just keeps standing back up. Yeah, and uh, well, from on my uh, on my initial playthrough of the game, I ended up just un completely unloading into this guy, and he just would not go down. So then I thought on this playthrough, well, maybe you're supposed to melee him, do some you know normal physical damage, get in his face. Not I don't see any combos going off. Yeah, he's uh, he's much like the werewolves from part one in that he's completely combo proof, so there's no quick way of taking him down. Even throwing a bayonet at him will will not really get you anywhere. And Maybe actually, he is the reverse werewolf from part one, just fully transformed into a man. I think he's a were egg, like he's a he's an egg that's grown like features, like like a very violent fetus. I've noticed his head is incredibly shiny. Yeah, I think that's uh, <laughs> more than likely that's just an incomplete character model. I think they they spent too many pixels on the uh, the uh, the bib or the overalls there. Yeah, it's all just kind of a brown blur, so that was kind of a waste of time. Yeah, but yeah, he's uh he's still going. I've been beating the shit out of him for a while here, throwing a couple of grenades, and I'm starting to notice though that he seems to be affected by some shots to the genitals, so maybe that's the way to go. Yeah, yeah it seems to be doing... Yeah, see, there you go. He just doubled over. Yeah, now he's just completely dead. 
That's I guess that's the way to go is to uh, emasculate him to death. And I like how they didn't give you any indication, like no glowing weak spot, like you know, well, look at my groin. Well, he's he's not a Gundam. He's not like a huge mech. Well, the werewolves had glowing spots on them. Yeah, but I don't think that was a weak spot either. I think that was just like some kick-ass decals, like some flames and racing stripes. <laughs> it was just uh, ground effects. Yeah. And son of a bitch, we got another one. Looks like we're getting uh, ready for another tough, you know, minute-long fight here. Not to mention we're still getting attacked by a bunch of these barbed wire bastards. So hopefully you take care of a few of a uh, few of them before I deal with another mini boss here. And then you're using, Our, the right using your favorite rifle. Yeah, and he's oh. already down. That's that was a lot quicker. It was. I get you really. I think we found the secret there with the uh, the legs slash groin. Yeah, I th I'm honestly right now I'm updating my game facts FAQ to include this very helpful information. Especially, like, now we got two fat guys and some lady friends joining us in the fray. So if you haven't figured out the trick by now, you're well and truly fucked. Yeah, like, honestly, the first time I did this, I was, like, running laps up and down this uh, monastery trying to find bullets. Because there are, there are quite a few ammo caches around here, but they are in, the, in those, like, towering bunks off to the side, which I don't honestly understand. And I've blown their legs off. That's pretty gruesome. He kind of hovered for a second in the air. Yeah, I think it's like cartoon logic, where if you don't realize there's no ground below you, then you won't fall. You but did you know look what? Down, so. Hey, you fell, you bitch. Boot to the face. And yeah, uh, get this med kit real quick. And what the hell is this guy doing? He's levitating with the power of his mind. Yeah. I don't know. Or just poor design. No, this game's perfect. Oh, they got okay. they, they got cruci crucifixes and plenty of bunk beds. It's time for a Christian sleepover. And uh, down in the basement here, we actually have our final secret of the level. It's a uh, big... Ow. What the fuck? I had no uh, idea what... The old doom trick of spawning in enemies behind you. <laughs> yeah, this is uh, it's a monster closet waiting to happen. It's a monster basement. But they don't even bother with the monster closets. They just warp them in there. Yeah. So, uh, but yeah, that was the final secret of the level, which was uh, another vampire artifact, which actually puts us up to ten now. Which means that uh, you know, if I uh, can keep my combo going long enough, we'll actually start seeing the next level of the uh, Fury Meters, which is an uh, explosion effect, if I remember correctly. I don't know why I hated her corpse in particular. Well, you know. Sometimes you gotta put them in their place. Oh, misogyny. It's so, funny. uh, yeah, we got some kind of mysterious force field here. Don't really Magical know. god force field. Yeah, so maybe, uh, maybe I don't even have to deal with that. I mean, there's a door over here. I should probably check that out. Locked and far too heavy to break open. Better question: so Where's the key? Where's that hole? key? Uh, I it's pro it's probably all behind this mysterious god force field here. I mean, like if you actually look at the door, like if we when um, when we go through the door later, I didn't actually see a keyhole on the door. I yeah, there's there's not a keyhole, and it apparently pissed me off. Like logic, logic fallacies just really aggravate me. Like this whole force field thing. I really, I'm like, what? What am I supposed to do here? Like maybe I, there's a switch or something you're supposed to pull, or maybe. I mean, the compass isn't helping. It's like pointing me back towards the locked door, and I'm like, all right, maybe maybe I left. Oh wait. He was somewhere. Oh, I see. So I was waiting for you to kill all the enemies, and he was stuck on a pillar somewhere or something. Maybe. But yeah, oh, now we now we've uh, cleared out the evil in the cathedral. 
Apparently not. Yeah, I, I, I don't know. This doesn't make any. It makes like yes, honestly, Susie Demon Tom, Knight. Head for the Demon Knight made more sense. You remember? You remember the Demon Knight? <laughs> I know you do. Well, it yeah. was it was Billy Zane's magnum opus. Uh, I thought that was uh, his role in uh, Kingdom Hearts. Was he in that? I think he did. I think he was. I think he did. Like he voice acted one of the characters. Titus. And, uh, no, he was one of the villains or something. But yeah, now that we've. Uh... I actually threw a smoke grenade out of complete boredom, but yeah, we finally killed those enemies, and we got Artifacts. some we got some well placed cover here, in case the door wants to attack us. But yeah, that's actually the end of this level, and uh, yeah, we'll be uh, we'll be actually facing a boss in the next level in the monastery itself. But yeah, I'll see you next level.